everyone and welcome to Sun Up. I'm Lyndall Stout. We join you today from Blackwell in Kay County, the last stop on the county portion of Sun Up's 2016 fair tour. Nine-year-old Tonkawa 4-H'er Callie Gilbert is showing a calf and two sheep this year. We visited with her just before she went into the ring and she says she's learned a lot since last year. My brother had has gotten to do it for years and I decided that I think it might be fun and it has been. I've learned more about how to lead and set up my cattle and sheep. My cat's um, name is Kit Kat and um, he's really fuzzy. We'll have more from here shortly, but first we're talking pest management and what to look for in your fields to help ensure the seeds you're planting this fall get off to a good start. Here's Sun Up's Dave Deacon and our extension entomologist, Tom Royer. 2016 has been a busy year for caterpillars and Tom, let's talk about what producers are seeing across the state. I've been getting calls about fall armyworms uh, hitting some early planted wheat. I uh, got some pictures in from Oklahoma City with fall armyworms uh, chewing on lawns. Um, and gotten some calls from some of our uh, extension specialists saying that canola and wheat is is uh, vulnerable and, and they're seeing caterpillars around. So right now um, I think uh, it's important that every producer that's thinking about getting ready to plant their wheat, getting ready to plant canola, be aware that uh, their crop is at risk to fall armyworm and they need to be starting to watch it as soon as it comes out of the ground and keep watching it. How, how long are, are, are we in this fall armyworm warning, I guess? The, the fall armyworm warning is, is from now until killing frost. Um, we've had them build up all summer long in some of our different crops. This has just been a good year for caterpillars. If, if, any, if you were paying attention to pecans, uh, fall wereworms are around. This has just been a good year for them. So uh, they've been building up in sorghum all summer and in corn. Uh, and so right now, oh, I, I forgot to mention, if, if a producer wants to uh, harvest a hay crop, they better be watching that because I've had numerous times where a producer, um, a guy that was getting ready to cut pasture said, I was getting ready and I saw all these little army worms and I came out four days later and my pasture was gone. So they need to be watching as well. I don't want any producer to be spraying if they don't need to, but uh, our threshold in wheat is about one to two per linear foot. Um, and we like to catch them early if when they're smaller, you know, half inch or smaller because they're a lot more susceptible to any of the treatments. Now, fall armyworms are not the only insects out there right now. There, there's, some, there's some ways to tell the different caterpillars apart. Yes, um, I had gotten some, uh, I gotten a, a call from a, a producer in Caddo County, or a, a county agent in Caddo County, uh, that was having some double crop soybeans that were being fed upon and in that case they thought they had soybean looper and I told them they needed to count the feet because uh, if, if uh, it's soybean looper it's going to have on its abdomen two pairs, uh, three pair, total pairs of legs uh, green clover worm, which looks very similar and actually has the same kind of looping motion, will have four pairs of legs. And velvet bean caterpillar, if that's around, it'll have five pairs. So it's important to count those feet. And uh, the, the reason that it's important is because soybean looper, uh, there's a lot of research showing that it's fairly resistant to pyrethroid insecticides, which is a, 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 a very inexpensive and effective choice. Uh, velvet, uh, velvet bean caterpillar and uh, green clover worm would be much more susceptible and be easier to control them and less expensive to control them. So it's good to know what you're going after Absolutely. before you even get to the field. Absolutely. Okay, thank you much, Tom. And for more information about these insects, you can go to our website, sunup.okstate.edu.